Hey everybody, Doug Reynolds here, your Sacramento area realtor. And this video, I'm titling it, How to Sell Your House During the Winter in Sacramento. I mean, we all know the way Sacramento winters are. It's cold, it's rainy, it's wet, it's dark, daylight savings isn't going on any longer, so when you get off work at 5 o'clock, the sun's basically down, is dark. It, it's, it's not the easiest time in the world to sell a house in the Sacramento area. But what I can tell you is it is doable. There's basically, in this video, I'm going to talk about three key things in order to get your house sold during the winter months. Every once in a while, things just happen in life. Um, you might have an unexpected pregnancy and you decide, oh my gosh, we've got to sell this place and get a bigger house or just a job transfer, or whatever. Things happen, and sometimes you can't perfectly plan, and sometimes you just decide, gotta sell our house during the winter. So here's three steps that I think are crucial to help you in the winter in Sacramento get your house sold. First of all, your house, it needs to show well. What that means is, it needs to look good. It needs to be clean. You need to have, if, the, if you've got some extreme paint colors on the wall, you should have the house painted. You should potentially look into possibly having the house staged. The lawn should be kept up. There should be good curb appeal. When you walk in, it smells good. It's bright. It's colorful. The lights are on. All of those things are extremely important. It's crazy how many houses I walk into in the winter in Sacramento. There's no lights on. You can't see anything. It's pitch black because it's 5.30 at night and it's so dark. Um, you know, the lights need to be on, all this stuff. So it needs to show extremely well. You might need to spend a little bit of money to paint, things like that, update some things, make it look better. It needs to show well. That's number one, okay? Number two, it needs to be priced right. In the winter months, you can get your house sold, but there's typically not as many buyers out there. You know, the buying season is spring and summer, winds down in the fall. There's still plenty of buyers out there during the winter, but there's not quite as many, and they're typically a little bit more picky because eh, there's not as much competition sometimes going on in the winter months. So you need to price your house well. You're gonna hurt yourself if you price it high you don't get any offers, you don't get a sale, you're gonna end up sitting there and buyers right now, they're all over the internet, they know what's come on and if something's priced high, they're not even gonna go look at it because they're gonna say, that house is overpriced, why waste my time? So you're gonna lower your price, by the time you're priced right, they've already seen you online five, six, seven times, at that point they're thinking, oh, what's wrong with this house? Click on to the next one. It hasn't even sold yet. It's been on the market for two months, for three months, whatever. So you need to price your house right, okay? That doesn't mean underprice it. That doesn't mean give it away at a discount. That doesn't mean lose money. It means price it right. Price it correctly so that it's gonna entice buyers thinking this house is priced well. We need to go out and see it because someone else probably is gonna go see it as well and we need to see if it fits for us, okay? That's number two. Number three, your house needs to be marketed extremely well. You need to make sure you're selecting a realtor that is going to be doing the best job for you. It's incredible how many houses out there go online and they don't even have a picture, no photos, okay? You need to have a a realtor that works with a professional photographer is getting wonderful photos done of your property, putting them online and ready to go. You need to be having a marketing plan. It needs to be going all over the internet. Trulia, Redfin, Zillow, all of these websites need to have it immediately. There's dozens out there. Every buyer uses their own, pro own website that they like to look at properties. So it needs to be on all of them so you're capturing the entire market uh, of buyers out there. As well as sometimes there's international buyers or out-of-state buyers, they're using different websites. It needs to be all over the internet, okay? You need to have the appropriate print marketing done. Open house on the first weekend is usually always the best when you hit the market. Um, you need to have a tour of the, the realtor that's in your office. They should be having your agent, their agents in the office coming through, touring the property so that they can see it firsthand, know if there's any buyers that they have that would work for them. 
All of these things are extremely important. Please take the time to pick the right agent that's going to do a good job for you. Unfortunately, there's a lot out there that fall a little short in that category. So my marketing plan covers all those things. Obviously, I wouldn't be talking about it if it didn't. Um, but those three things, they're going to help you in the winter months. They're going to make you stand out between the competition. They're going to get buyers in there, and they're going to get your house sold. So follow those three important things, and you'll, get, you'll have good success during the winter months. If you're a seller out there that's thinking about putting your house on the market, feel free to give me a call. You can go to my website, sellwithdoug.com. All my contact information is on there. Give me a call, email, um, and I'd love to start chatting with you and seeing how I can help out get your property sold. So I hope the video was helpful, and take care. Clear skies.